Hi, I'm MJ, and for the last six years or so, I have been making tarot and oracle card decks. It is my passion, it is my purpose, it is what gets me out of bed in the morning. I love creating tarot and oracle card decks. You might know some of my work. I am the artist behind the Crow Tarot, the Wise Dog, Urban Crow Oracle, uh, let's see here, Guardian of the Night for Hexa, Grimalkin's Curious Cats. I, I, I'm sure there's a few more in there that I've completely forgotten. It's like having so many children that you forget their names. As you can see though, making tarot and oracle card decks is not a hobby for me. It is my life's work. This is, this is my job and it's something that excites me every day. I decided to put together this course because what I really love about making tarot card and, and oracle card decks is the energy that goes into each one. Each card holds a specific energy. And when you can learn how to connect with that energy, all of a sudden reading the, a spread becomes so much easier. No longer are you jumping to the guidebook and looking to see what the creator of that deck says. You're feeling the cards and you're getting that message from your guides. And really, when it comes down to it, you and your guides know you better than the guidebook. So in this course, what we're going to do is, first we're going to examine the Rider Waite Smith deck because as a tarot creator, I know that most, or at least a lot of tarot artists use the Rider Waite Smith deck as a launching off point. It's an agreed upon language as far as energy goes, energetic language. We all agree that the strength card means this, the fool means that, temperance means this, and so forth. So we're going to start with the Rider Waite Smith card. And we'll look at the symbolism of each card and we're going to create energetic anchors so that regardless of the deck that you're using, you will be able to identify these anchors. This is the modern witch. And we're going to look at other, uh, other decks besides my own because just to show you the differences that as cre uh, creators of the tarot, we all interpret that card a little differently. And of course, I'll show you a couple of my own, like the Guardian of the Night here and the Strength card from my Crow Tarot. And this is the Del Toro Strength card. And you can see how we all take the same energy of the original Rider weight, and we interpret it just a little bit differently, but the energy is still the same. So once you can understand the Rider weight smith energy, once you understand the symbolism, then you can start looking for those, those pieces of the puzzle on the card that you're using. So it doesn't have to be exactly this deck, it could be any deck, because once you know how to read the Rider weight smith deck, once you can connect to the energy of the Rider weight smith you can apply that to any deck that uses the same language. So that's what we're going to do in this course. We're going to uncover the symbolism, we're going to create those energetic anchors, and then I'm going to share with you strategies for connecting that energy and conjuring up that energy and really feeling it because that is really at the crux of, of connecting with your deck, is feeling the energy for each card. Going back into your memory bank, recalling what it felt like perhaps when you extended grace or when you felt grace so when you felt that inner strength for example all of that will be revealed in this course this is a 41 <laughs> this is a lot this is a big course it's a 41 video course so it's approximately a little under seven hours so there's a lot of information in this class and not only will we talk about the symbolism and, and the decks itself and creating that energetic connection, I'm also going to show you um, some spread ideas. We're gonna do some spell casting with the deck or with, with the cards. And that in itself is such a powerful tool because once you can harness that energy, you can use it uh, for other things besides doing a reading. You can actually work that energy to your advantage. And for those of you who are interested in making your own decks and getting them published well, I have, I have been an indie artist and a published author now, and I know the ins and outs, and I, am, I feel like I'm constantly learning lessons in that area, but I will share with you everything I have discovered from printing, finding a printer, to uh, some pitfalls of uh, working overseas with printers. I can tell you I won't do that again. 
uh, to publishing, working with bigger publishing houses, some of the things to look for that I have recently learned in contracts, as well as how to market your deck, how to get it out to the masses. Uh, you know, this is a, a fun course. I want you to grab a notebook. I want you to grab your favorite deck and join me as we really develop this relationship. And that's what you have with your tarot. It's a relationship. You make an appointment with your tarot deck, you get connected with it, and you can trust it. The more time you spend with your deck, the better you understand each other. The deck understands you and you understand your deck, the stronger that bond is going to be. So I hope you join me and I will see you at the first class. Peace. Bye.